you a fan of this podcast? Do you wish there was even more juicy content for you to sink your ears into? Well, there is. You can become a premium member of this podcast for $5.99 a month and get full access to an archive of over 50 bonus episodes. Additionally, we release a bonus episode every single month. That's a ton of extra content, including my personal interior design diaries, extra tips, my talking about trends, and so much more. Additionally, you'll be keeping us on the airwaves each and every week because your premium membership money goes directly back to making this podcast amazing. Check us out at affordableinteriordesign.com, click on podcast to learn more and to become a premium member today. need a high-end designer or a lot of money to get a luxe look be your own interior designer this is affordable interior design the podcast here's your host betsy hellman hello everybody great to be here with you i am excited for another week of your questions your queries keep them coming you know i love seeing what you're designing hearing what you're up to all you have to do is submit a question with your pictures you go to affordableinteriordesign.com slash podcast. Once again, affordableinteriordesign.com slash podcast. And there you can submit your questions. You can get them answered, all that fun stuff. So without further ado, I'm going to dig into the mailbag today and see what's going on. My first question comes from Eleanor. Eleanor is writing from Paris, France. Eleanor, I'm a little bit jealous. I'm just going to say. And she writes, hello, Betsy. I've been listening to your podcast since the beginning of the year, and I'm loving it. I love how relatable you are and your straightforward answers to listeners' design dilemmas. My boyfriend and I are having our 40 square meter, that's 430 square feet, completely redone. There's lots of decisions to make. My style, I believe, is uplifting bohemian. I want a rather traditional look with lots of texture and plants and some flea market type finds. My current dilemma is the kitchen. The apartment is located under the eaves on the last floor. The ceiling is lower than normal and there are exposed beams everywhere, which I will have sanded to go back to their raw, lighter shade of wood. I have picked sand-colored hexagonal tiles for the floor so that they're reminiscent of the additional tomats that I decided to do away with because they made the space dark. For the kitchen, I initially wanted white shaker-style cabinets with really dark countertop, and I wanted a mother-of-pearl chevron tile for the backsplash. But we are having a roof window installed in the kitchen area. It won't be right above the cabinets, but I have read that white cabinets tend to go yellow if they're exposed to direct sunlight. Now I am afraid to go with the white white, and I don't think off-white would be as good a look with the very dark wood countertops. I have seen a video where they had off-white cabinets and gray stone countertops, and I like that look too. But it seems to me that the mother of pearlish tiles won't look good with that. And also it feels like it's veering more traditional and less bohemian. I'm enclosing a picture of my place before the remodel just for fun. I'm not planning on doing something as colorful this time around, but it will still be me living here. Thank you so much for your help. I I hope you have a wonderful maternity leave. Thank you, Eleanor. Let's check out these pictures. Okay. So with the first picture, you sent me a picture of the tile, which looks like this sort of hexagonal beige model tile. You sent me a picture of the Shaco style cabinets with the dark wood, like butcher block style countertop. And you've sent me the mother of pearl backsplash, which is kind of an off-white, which I think looks great with off-white. But again, you want to be careful if you're using two off-whites, just like if you were using two pure whites that, you know, they don't compete with each other or clash. Even subtle neutrals can clash. So I would want a sample of each to make sure. Now let's look at your next set of pictures. 
So you've got this set that has the off-white cabinets with the gray countertop, which I think looks very nice and contemporary. And then the third picture has a lot of character. You can see the beams. I mean, I'm just transported to France and I can see the old flooring that has the hexagonal tile, things like that. So the thing that's troubling me, Eleanor, is that I feel like the thing that's missing is the true sense of your style. You mentioned that it's uplifting bohemian, and you mentioned that you want traditional elements. I think you're a little confused as to your two-word phrase. What does uplifting mean to you in terms of visual aesthetics? Does it mean bright colors? Does it mean airy? Does it mean light and ethereal? I'm not understanding what either of these words mean to you because then you transition to bohemian and say flea market finds, totally vibing. I totally feel that. But then you're saying traditional. Now, do you just mean being open to finding older style things, which I think would definitely feel bohemian? But what I'm not seeing is how any of this translates to the renovation selections you've picked. So do I think a shaker style front cabinet is a good idea? Yes. It's very innocuous and can go lots of different ways. Do white cabinets yellow in the sun? Yes, they can, especially if they're painted white, right? If they are white cabinets that came from the store and they were white, that might be okay for a longer amount of time than if they were a different color or wood tone and you had them painted. Those yellow very quickly. That being said, I think with this boho slash traditional vibe, stark white isn't the best fit. I think off-white actually embraces both of those styles a little bit better. And if you are changing the beams so that they're a light wood color, sanding away the dark stain, then I'm not completely understanding why you're doing a dark stained wood countertop. I would be much more inclined to do something gray or something that's less dark. Um, Especially because you've said that the ceilings are lower here, that you don't get a lot of natural light, which is the reason you're doing the skylight. So I really would shy away from such darkness, and I think gray is a much better option. Additionally, I have an area of my kitchen on the island that has a butcher block top, and I just hate it because my husband leaves his sodas there and it condensates. My kids like wash their hands and water gets all over and they don't wipe it up with a towel. And I just worry so much about the staining and scarring that comes with a butcher block versus a natural stone or a man-made stone, which I think would be a much better option. And when I redo my island, one of these days, I'm going to peel off that butcher, butcher block and replace it with something that's just more people friendly, people friendly. So that's my two cents there because the rest of my kitchen has like that granite look and it looks much less aged and worn than the butcher block section which really betrays a lot of imperfections. So in hindsight, even though I didn't install the butcher block, um, I would not be doing butcher block again. So there we go. And now it's time for a quick commercial break. Do you love this podcast? Do you wish you could learn even more? Well, we have an online class bundle. Our online class bundle is comprised of three online classes, Beautifying Your Home for Less, Styling Your Home, and The Fundamentals of Feng Shui. Each one of those three classes is between 30 and 45 minutes long and chock filled with visuals and tips, things that will help you to style your own space or help out with other spaces. Additionally, with the pack of three classes, you get an autographed copy of my book, Affordable Interior Design. You get all of that for only $99. Once again, that's the three online classes as well as the book for only $99. You just go to affordableinteriordesign.com slash classes. Once again, affordableinteriordesign.com slash classes to buy your bundle today. 
And if one of those classes sounded intriguing, but maybe you already have my book or some of the other topics are not of interest, you can buy the classes individually at that site as well. Each class is $40. So head over to affordableinteriordesign.com slash classes to get your bundle or your online class today. Now let's talk about the hexagonal tiles. I love that you're going back and kind of thinking about what was there before and how can I replace it with something that keeps the spirit. But again, I feel like you're really losing opportunities to embrace the two-word style that you've come up with. Now, if you are going to sell in the next five to seven years, maybe you want something more neutral because boho is kind of loud, right? Boho is really... um, in your face kind of style for the most part, then not everyone is going to get behind. So you might want to do something more neutral for your animation and then pop it with a bold backsplash or some fun accessories for the kitchen. But if this is going to be your space for a long time, um, I don't think that these tiles are giving me any sort of vibe, not traditional nor boho. So I could see if maybe they were in a fun color or if they had a little bit of patterning, if it was faded patterning, how that would really embrace the boho. Um, But I'm not getting any sort of style word from this particular selection. And now let's go to the Chevron Mother of Pearl Backsplash. Again, Chevron Mother of Pearl, like maybe the Mother of Pearl texture takes me somewhere traditional, but the Chevron is quite contemporary. I think if I was going to go for something boho or something traditional, I might do something with more of a curving style pattern than this harsh linear pattern, or I could see doing a very traditional material like a subway tile, but maybe doing it in a crackle glaze and like a beautiful French blue or something like that. So I just feel like you are not channeling your renovation selections through your two-word phrase because maybe you're not fully clear on that two-word phrase. So I would go back there and make sure I'm very clear. Instead of getting inspiration pictures that just feature one or two elements of the look you're going for, just the countertops, just the cabinets, I would try and find a kitchen that encapsulates everything that you're looking for. And maybe I would even start there, pulling two, three, four kitchen pictures that really would light you up and make you excited if that was the ultimate outcome. And then maybe create your two-word phrase from there, because I'm feeling like you're less married to the two-word phrase and more married to the elements that you've selected. But how do they come together in a way that feels uniquely you and then actually has something to say in terms of a style? That's the challenge here. And you know, because it's a renovation, I think it's well worth your time to go back to the drawing board before you lock some of these things in. Eleanor, aren't you glad you talked to me before you made these changes and can't go back in time? I'm glad that you did. Guys, if you're wondering, how can I get Betsy's advice? How can she help me? She's going on maternity leave. Well, let me reassure you that yes, while I am technically on maternity leave. I will be checking in end of October, end of November, and re-recording so I can capture all your questions. So send them in just as you always would, affordableinteriordesign.com slash podcast. Once again, affordableinteriordesign.com slash podcast. And I assure you, I will get to them because I'm going to be recording maybe with a baby over there in the corner. You might hear some cooing or crying in the background, but it will get done. There you go. Guys, it's been wonderful to be back with you again. And if you happen to live in Paris, please send me more Paris problems because I went to Paris for my baby moon with all three babies and it's so magical and I love it there so much. And I don't know where you live, Eleanor, but I used to live in the seventh arrondissement And uh, in my opinion, it's one of the best for living because even though it's filled with antiques and it's a relatively quiet corner, uh, you're right in the mix of things in terms of being next to all the places I love. And um, you can walk to anywhere, but when you go home, it's nice and tranquil and tourist free. Uh, Anyway, um, win. When I get a second home, I hope 
it will be in Paris. There you go. There you go, Eleanor. Then I can help you in person. All right, everyone. Until next week. Bye. You've asked for it, and we have answered the call. For years, you've been saying, Betsy, you're talking about all these great design concepts, but we can't visualize them. You're describing the picture that the listener sent in of their problem, and we wish we could see that picture too. After all, a picture is worth a thousand words, and I do my best to describe them, but there's nothing like seeing it for yourself. And that's why Affordable Interior Design, the podcast, now has a YouTube channel. Not only do we have a YouTube channel where you could see recordings and clips of these podcast episodes, we also have an Instagram, a Facebook, and so many other exciting things. You should check it out. Head over to affordableinteriordesign.com slash links. Once again, affordableinteriordesign.com slash L-I-N-K-S links. And when you go there, you will see links to our YouTube page, our Instagram page, our Facebook page, and more. Please check it out, follow and subscribe so you can see everything I'm talking about. A big thank you to our amazing producer, Catherine Heller, to Aton and the MBCR House Band, and to Affordable Interior Design, the sponsor of this podcast and the premier place to get an amazing look on a budget. Check out affordableinteriordesign.com. If you guys love the show, the very best way to support us is by spreading the word. Tell your friends or write us an awesome review on iTunes. So until next week, guys, thanks so much for joining us, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.